Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to How to Make a Minecraft Mod. My name is Kreplav. That's right, we're going to make a Minecraft mod. I promised I was going to make one for you guys, uh, teach you guys how to make one. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to need three things for this mod. We're going to need Forge, we're going to need Eclipse, and we're going to need the Java JDK. Alright, so let's start out by going to Forge. Alright, so we're going to go to the 1.7 recommended build, and we're going to download the source. Not the installer, the source. Okay? And we wait for this. And we'll hit skip ad. It will download. And. Uh, come on. Okay. <laughs> we're going to take this and we're going to drag it out there. Okay. Then we're going to go to Eclipse. And we're going to paste that in. Okay, um, eh, I don't want to use Luna though, um, I would prefer to use Kepler, I like Kepler better, I don't know why. Eclipse. I'm used to Kepler, so... Yeah, we'll go with this. Uh... Okay. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll just use the Luna. It works the same. It doesn't matter. I just like the look of, look of Kepler better. It's like a purple. We're just going to hit download. There we go. Okay. And we're going to go to... Clips IDE. I think we want this one. Yep. And I have a 64 bit computer, so I'm going to download that. Pretty sure this is what I want. And we're going to click this. I don't know. I think. Alright. That's going to take a few minutes to download. So while that's working we're going to download the java jdk okay so once you do that all right you're going to accept the license agreement go to Windows 64 you could do Windows um, 86 if you have a 32-bit computer but I have a 64-bit so I think we'll just download that like that and that's probably gonna slow everything down but whatever okay We're not going to close everything yet. And I 
will be right back when everything is done downloading. Okay, we are back, guys. Um, this isn't quite done yet, but we're going to go ahead and install the Java JDK. So you're going to click on your download. You're going to hit yes. Okay, and this is going to come up. You're going to just hit next. Um, just make sure everything in here is like that, okay? And make sure it's to that, okay? Path. And it will start to install. Make sure that when you download um, the Java JDK, you are getting the most recent version of the JDK, okay? And I think that's update 25, but I'm not positive. If something goes wrong, I know how to fix it, so. Alright, it'll start to install Java. Good. Um, and we're going to take this Eclipse and just drag it over here. And we'll kind of drag it over here. Okay. Alright, just hit close. You don't have to hit anything else. And we can go ahead and exit out of all our web pages here, because we won't be needing them anymore. And what we're going to do from there is we're going to set up the JDK. So we're going to go to here, we're going to go to our local disk, or C drive, program, f program files, Java, and JDK, this one. Alright. And we're going to click that. And we're going to copy it. Alright. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into your system. If you're running Windows 8, you can just right-click your Windows logo here and go up to System. Otherwise, you can access it by doing this and right-clicking your um, local C drive. Okay. Um, from here, we're going to go to Advanced System Settings. And we're going to go to Environment Variables. And we're going to click new. Alright, for our variable name, we're going to name it path. I can't type today. Path uh, with a capital P. And for your environment variable, or for your variable value, I mean, uh, just control V and just paste it in there. And hit OK. And OK. And OK. Alright, uh, now we're going to access our command prompt, which on Windows 8 you can do that just by doing this. Um, otherwise you can go to run, type in cmd, and it'll do the same thing. Okay, yes, so we're going to type Java C and hit enter. And it didn't work. I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. Um, Java JDK. Uh, no, that's not the website I want. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, click this one. Ah, okay. Um,
Alright, let's go back to environment variables, paths. Okay, you know what guys, I will be right back. I had this problem the first time I did it, and I can't remember how I fixed it. So, I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back. Um, we fixed it. It was a stupid mistake. I clicked something wrong. So, you don't want to copy this link. You want to go into your bin and click this and then copy this. Okay? Then you're going to go into your environment variables and paste that like like that. So, um, see how it says bin at the end? Okay. Yep, that's what you have to do. Then you're going to type Java C and it should work. That's what it should look like. If you get an error, either you did that wrong like I did, you have the wrong version of JDK, or um, you typed your path wrong. Okay. So, we're going to make a new folder for our Minecraft mod. Alright, so we're going to type in Minecraft mod. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And from here, we're going to take and we are going to go to your forge. And you're going to click that. And you're going to click extract extract all and you're going to browse till you find desktop eh. oh right there yeah I'm stupid <laughs> okay hit okay and hit extract alright now you have everything in your minecraft mod folder like so alright so we are going to shift and right click and we're going to um, open command window here. Okay. Here in your command line, you're going to type Gradle W. Why are we typing Gradle W? Well, I don't know if you can see, but right here, that's your batch file. You want to open that batch file. Okay. Setup decomp work space. Okay. Then you're going to hit space, eclipse, and hit enter. And it'll start downloading. While it's downloading, I'll go ahead and tell you guys um, a little bit of update news. I know I just did an update video, but um, I might make a website having all the code on for these tutorials on my website. Um... But, I, I don't know, I have to use a free website because, um, I don't want to pay for <laughs> hosting, uh, and that's kind of sad because I really like to use, um, HTML, and I don't like making them online with those, uh, website builders, those aren't as much fun. So, yeah. And this is this is a lot of fun, isn't it? Don't you like watching things load? I think it's about halfway done now. Maybe it's closer to that. I don't know. I don't remember. I just know I did a lot of this for a long time. It may take like two minutes and then it may take like two hours. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video when I'm done. Alright, welcome back everybody and it's done. I finally got this. Yeah, it took me like seven minutes. Yeah, took a long time. Okay, we can go ahead and close this. We won't need that anymore. And we can close this. And we can close this. this one. So we're going to open up Eclipse here. We're going to go to this folder. And we're going to extract this. Yeah. Yug. Oh, it's 
just gotta do this. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, hurry up. <laughs> it's taking too long. And we're done. Okay. So for here, you're going to right click this. And you're going to make a um, you're going to create a shortcut, and you're going to drag the shortcut out here. You can close dish, and you can close dish, and you can rename this to just plain old Eclipse. Okay, Eclipse. Right, and you're gonna open it up. Here. You're gonna open it up. Open it up. Open, open, open it up. There we go. So yeah, I'm recording my new computer. Okay. Um, you're gonna hit browse. You're gonna go to your Minecraft mod. And you're going to go to your Eclipse folder. Alright, you can click that. What happened? You can click that. Okay. And you're going, oh, wait, no, not Gradle, not Gradle. What happened? Where did it go? Where's the Eclipse for? Okay. Um, Minecraft now. Oh, build. It's in build. Okay. So open this back up. Minecraft mod. Build. Eclipse. And hit OK. So it should be like that. And hit OK. And it will start to load. Do 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 do. All right, cool. So now we've opened Eclipse. And as you can see, we've got this Minecraft folder here. And this is what we're gonna be writing all of our code in. And we've got our example mod, but we're not going to be using this. We're going to actually delete all this and start from scratch. Make it ourselves. Do it yourself. Don't have somebody else do it for you. Okay, so that was the first of the series. And next time we'll get into... We're going to start coding and we're going to start um, setting up all of our first files. How's that sound? Yep. Um, don't be scared though, um, I'll teach you guys how to code, so it's not gonna, you're not gonna have to run around trying to learn Java, because we're gonna do it together, okay? Alright, so, that was the first of videos, and I will, um, see you guys in the next one, so if you liked it, go ahead and give it a like, and subscribe if you haven't already so that uh, you can you know be notified when the next mining tutorial comes out all right so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one